Hey, what's up everybody? Dylan here from Iceberg TV. Today I've got Discmania's two newest drops to share with you guys today. Use my discount code ICEBERG10 over at Power Grip USA to save 10% on any discs over at the website, including these new Discmania drops. All orders over $70 ship for free. Today I've got the Showstopper 2, the Ella Hansen Horizon Glow FD. This is a mold that I've loved for a long time. I think pretty much anybody who's been throwing FDs for a long time. It's a mold you know if you are struggling to find just a good point and shoot fairway driver. It's like the reset button. I can always go back to the FD and just have something that's just very point and shoot, which is a really good thing to have on the shelf. If you're struggling with your fairway game, just chuck an FD in. It'll kind of <laughs> neutralize any of the problems you're having. We also have the Kyle Klein Color Glow Vanguard. I did hear that these ones were straighter. Um, the, the first run of Vanguard was really stable for me and I really didn't like it all that much. So I'm curious to see if this one is a little bit straighter, which would be a little bit probably better for my arm speed. And yeah, I'm really curious to see how this new FD flies. So I haven't thrown these yet. So let's just see first initial reaction showstopper two. All right, it's a little bit stable. Gonna have to try that one a little bit flatter. And I'm gonna be proactive here and just throw this Vanguard more flat as well. If I throw this on a hyzer, it's just gonna fade to the left and not be very exciting. That's definitely a bit straighter than the first Vanguard I ever threw. It's kind of that pushy Thunderbird-ish type disc that you really can only maximize on the potential of those stable Thunderbird type nine speeds if you have the arm to throw them, in my opinion. Otherwise, it's gonna be a really overstable utility disc. If you have a slow arm, like you're throwing 55 miles an hour or less, you're not really gonna be able to get this thing to go straight at all. It's just gonna be really overstable, fly left on the backhands and fly right on the forehands. Um, let's amp up the power a little bit, see if we can get these discs to straighten out a bit. We'll throw them back the other way. I'll see you guys on the other side over there. First initial thoughts, this is a little bit more stable than I expected um, as far as FDs go. Seem kind of similar to the new C-Line FDs, but let's see how it flies on a flatter shot. Seems like a just a little bit more stable run of FD. Uh, my experience, most of the Horizon stuff has been on the more stable side in comparison to the S-Line. Let's throw this Vanguard good and hard, flat, see if we can get it to go somewhat straight. <sighs> yeah, that's a really nice Vanguard. I think that FD is a little bit too stable for my liking on backhand. But as far as that Thunderbird-ish flight on the Vanguard, really, really nice. Just a nice straight pushing flight, but with a super reliable fade at the end. And what makes that mold kind of different than like a Firebird or a Felon is the Vanguard, the Thunderbird, any of those stable, um, but not super overstable nine speeds, they have a pushing sweeping fade as opposed to a crashing fade. So you can get that same reliable consistency, but a lot more distance than you would get on something like a Firebird or an FD3 or any of those type of discs. And the Showstopper 2 here is one of those discs. If you have the arm speed to get it to flip up and go straight, it's gonna be a really awesome flyer. It's gonna go really far and it's gonna go really straight. Um, I tend to like these more stable options for forehand. So we will throw a forehand down and a forehand back as well. See how she flies on the flick. <sighs> See, really far, really straight. But as far as stable FDs go, I think that's probably one of the more stable FDs I've ever thrown. I threw that pretty much as hard as I can, push it at least 400 feet, and it really didn't want to flip up and turn at all. So it's not like many other FDs I've ever thrown. Let's see the Vanguard on a similar line. Like that Vanguard has a little bit more pickup and turn to it than the FD even does. So you've got a really kind of uniquely overstable FD and then a uniquely straight Vanguard. 
Um, I'm definitely a lot more partial to that Vanguard than I am that FD. Um, but let's forehand them back one more time a piece and then we'll close out the video. Distance wise to get onto this golf green requires about 400 feet. And we landed dead center of the green with the Vanguard. And then the showstopper did go probably eight feet farther, but flying relatively the same in distance. Nature moment. Kitty cat meow. What's up cat? So I'm gonna dub this the T-bird of FDs. Most FDs for me go a lot straighter than this. This is a really stable run of FD and I would not be surprised to see all the Discmania sponsored pros throwing this run for that specific reason. Touring pros have really fast arms and they need really stable discs pretty much in every slot. Amateur players, players like me that throw 60 to 64, we just don't need our fairway drivers to be quite this stable. Something like the Brave just flips up and pushes a lot better for me. But if you throw harder than I do, you're absolutely going to love the Showstopper too. But I'm throwing that like really hard. You can see it wanted to flip up a little bit, but for me to get that, to get any amount of like what the flight numbers say, I need to throw it like 65 miles an hour. So you don't throw 65, it's not gonna fly like an FD for you. I think this Vanguard's actually more beginner friendly than that FD, in my opinion. But again, if you have a fast arm, you're gonna like both of these discs. Oh, look at that. That thing is awesome. The Vanguard is something I would definitely consider adding into my bag. That Color Glow Vanguard is a really nice flyer. It's probably just a touch less stable than a new Champion Thunderbird, but like a little bit more stable than a T-Bird, but just so much pushier because of the wider wing, it's just a bit faster. So really, really great disc, and I'm really liking that run of Vanguard a lot more than I did the first runs of Vanguard that I threw. All right, everybody, that is going to be it for today's video. The um, Showstopper 2 Ella Hansen Horizon Glow FDs, very stable run of FD. If you already have straight FDs in your bag, and then you want one in the bag for flex shots, for headwinds. I know I'm the kind of player that if I have a mold that I really like and I'm competing in tournaments and I wanna have that consistency in my hand, I do really like having different runs that are at varying stabilities. This is gonna be that stable FD that you're looking for if you already have like a flippy and a straight FD. This is gonna be a really great stable complement to that. Then the Vanguard for me seems like absolute money. Um, anyone who's an amateur, low level pro, I'm, you know, 60, 64 miles an hour, I get it to go relatively straight and then have a nice reliable fade at the end, which is exactly how it's supposed to fly. So I think the Vanguard is an absolute winner in this color glow sea line plastic and the showstopper. It's hit or miss for me. Probably not something I'm going to put in my bag, but I still think for those of you that want a really stable FD, I think you're going to really like that disc for that exact slot. Anyway, let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. I'll see you guys in the next video and take care.